The Horticulture Club works with other groups to maintain a greenhouse, cultivate plants, and prepare for seasonal plant sales. So we were at 100% plant capacity and really the reason why we have the plant sales is so we can make room to grow more stuff. We really do it so that we can put more money back into the greenhouse, buy more pots and fertilizer, all the stuff that you see in here so that we can keep growing plants. Students spend many months preparing the plant sales, which are held in the spring and fall. It's not so much of like how long we're preparing it for it, it's because it's cyclical. It happens all year, every year. The first plant that we started propagating for this sale was in January of last year. Students are welcome to join the Horticulture Club, whether it's taking part in plant propagation, breaking down compost, or learning how to maintain a beehive. The Texas State Horticulture Club allows students to gain experience in the horticulture industry. So the Horticulture Club is really three clubs. There's the Horticulture Club, which is Hortus Colaire. There's Bobcat Buzz, which is our bee club. And then there's Bobcat Blend, which is our composting and food recycling club. The Horticulture Club is more than just plant sales. It's students striving to educate individuals to be more environmentally conscious. For more information on the Horticulture Club, visit ag.txstate.edu. For Bobcat Update, I'm Alex Serena. Sand Market is a weekly farmer's market which takes place at 302 University Drive in San Marcos. The market used to be held on the first Sunday of every month, but recently became a weekly event. The market is a gathering place for local shop owners to display and sell their crafts and produce. I wouldn't be doing this for other people if, it was, if I didn't know how it is myself to be an artist and to try to put yourself out there because it is hard and you have to have a place, you know, like a market or a studio where people can come find you. The mission of Sand Market is to support local businesses and provide an outlet for creative individuals. Whenever you're, you buy from them instead, you, you get something even better than what you would get at the store, at your normal stores, but then you're also giving that artist or that maker or that artisan, whatever they're doing, um, that feeds in to help them keep creating more and doing more. And everyone that does canning, you know, making whatever they're making, their stuff's just going to get better the more they have to invest in that, uh, that industry or with that product. The market offers a variety of products for the community to purchase and admire. How to build the wealth is to take it from places that are generating huge wealth, which Austin is one of those places, or New Braunfels. A lot of people who live in San Marcos work at those places. And on Saturdays and Sundays, you're out with your family. It's a great place to come and recycle that wealth back into the community. The Sunday Sand Market has everything from locally grown produce to handmade goods. For Bobcat Update, I'm Alex Serino. An event known as Prototyping the Future with Virtual Reality and 3D Printing was held at the Gallery of the Common Experience. Students were given the opportunity to work with a virtual reality headset and to create a structure using a 3D printer. I showed them how to use the tools to create virtual sculptures, essentially, and they created single objects that will then be, uh, those, those files will then be processed to make sure there's, there's no errors and that they're ready to interface with the 3D printers in the print lab. For some students, it was their first time engaging with virtual reality. Virtual reality is a tool the tech industry hopes to integrate into art and therapy. In the future, it could become an everyday routine for people to use it. Well, it's such an interdisciplinary field, so it can be used for physical therapy, for healthcare, for <clears throat> travel, for self-care, um, for creativity, for remote career training. The X Reality Center will be available for Texas State students after the Alkek Library renovations are completed in 2020. For Bobcat Update, I'm Alex Serino.